Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for watching PT's Far Removed Uncle right here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be listening to an audio interview that Corporal John Ramsey and Sergeant Keith Vidler did with one Jerome Hennon after Metro State came into contact with this guy and started beating up on his car. You may remember the video with uh, Dylan Vogt, Jeremy DeWitt's brother, uh, hitting the black SUV. We're going to show the video here along with the interview. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and stuff. And I got good news. We got a lot more Jeremy DeWitt videos coming out here pretty soon. We just got him in from the Osceola Sheriff's Department and the state's attorney's office in the 9th District in Florida. So stand by. We got a lot more content on its way. Thanks for watching and let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, today's date is December 5th, 2019. It is approximately uh, 12.01 in the afternoon. Uh, we're here with uh, uh, Jerome Hennens, Hennen, and uh, Sergeant uh, Keith Vidler is also here. Uh, Corporal John Ramsey, myself, uh, is here, and your lawyer's here, correct? Scott Rust, my okay, lawyer. Can you go ahead and pronounce your name and spell it? Scott Rost, S-C-O-T-T-R-O-S-T. All right, so we're here today to discuss an incident that occurred back in uh, July, was it 22nd, 27th? Is that correct? Let's see. Yes. Yes, July 27th of uh, 2017. Uh, can you just briefly tell me you what want occurred? To raise your right hand. Oh, yeah, let me, before I do that, glad you reminded me. Can you raise your right hand for me? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to so help you, God? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what occurred on, on this particular date? On July um, 2017, at that day, you can refer to that if you need. Um, when I was processing on 1792, going back to my office, coming back from a cardiologist appointment, um, I got stopped by a police, uh, or what I believe now um, being a police uh, motorcycle vehicle. and. Um, I got redirected several times, and that, I believe, policeman at that time started to be very erratic, um, hitting me, the car, and yelling at me, and and um, and um, I tried to flee at some point the situation. Um, okay. Okay, he, he never touched you. No, he never right? touched so me, I'm sorry. He okay, hit no, the car, sure. which... All right, so we, we know that the uh, Winter Park Police Department uh, came and made contact with you, correct? Yes. Okay. And at, at some point, uh, because you, you were nervous and not knowing what was going on, you did not speak to them other than to give them your information, correct? Yes. Okay. And so they ultimately arrested you? Yes. Is that correct? Okay. And ultimately, those charges went to the state attorney and were dismissed? Yes. And since then, your record has been expunged of that arrest? Correct. Okay. Uh, we got a video. Uh, this video was supposedly submitted to the uh, Winter Park Police Department. It says that in the report, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, and your lawyer also got a copy of this uh, video? Correct. And Okay, so, uh, and that's Scott right here, Ross, Scott. right? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to play the video. What I've done is I've sped it up to the point of where he's uh, Dylan, that's the individual... Uh, who was the complainant in your original case, correct? Correct. Dylan Volt? Dylan Volt. Okay. So here it is. He's going to stop you right here. He's already got his hand up. So I'm going to play this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it entirely up to the point where when you're driving off, and then we'll stop and we'll go back and I'll ask questions about it. But I want you to view it first to authenticate it and, and tell me if there's anything that's out of place or if this is exactly what you saw that day, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, do you remember that video? Do you remember that day? I remember the day. This is just... Okay, let me ask you. So we saw the part of when he uh, told you to stop and everything. So you saw when you were driving away. What occurred after that? 
When you drove away, you went up the road. It looks like he's following you. What occurred? Well, then somebody else, another motorcycle disguised the same way, you know, as law enforcement, pulled from the front um, to block me from the left side of my car and started cursing and yelling and, 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 and so on. So it came, uh, it came to came the to driver's me, side door? Driver's side door and really put me a lot of threats and cursing and So and this so person on. right here, Dylan, did he show up up there with with the other officer? I didn't see him. I was really seeing uh, the um, the left side and apparently Dylan was following me. Okay. Um, All right, so let me move up here. Okay, so here you are pulling up to the stop bar, and you're in what we call the left lane, so you're the closest lane to the center lane or the turn lane, correct? Correct. Okay. Are there any cars in front of you? Not whatsoever, all the way to Fairbanks uh, light. Okay. Can you see here in the video? If you had to make a lane change, is there room for you to move into the lane closest to the curb? Yes, I could merge would, very easily would to you the say right lane. Would you say that's one, two, or three car lanes? About three or four cars, or at least minimum two or three cars, yes. In between those two? In between so you the car in front of me and the car in, in the, in behind me. So you could safely move into that yes. lane is what you see? Yes. Okay. What, what are you doing right there? I am uh, avoiding the motorcycle uh, in front of me. Is the motorcycle in front of you or the person that was on the motorcycle? The person and the motorcycle by his side. Okay. Uh, blocking my lane basically and merging pretty much into the flow of the right lane. So at this point, is he telling you to go there or what do you think is happening? He's trying to redirect me one way or another, uh, obviously not to go through his lane where he stopped and blocking the lane. Okay, so at this point, you assume that he's telling you to pull into this lane? Yes. Are you are you coming close to hitting any cars? No, I'm very see? far. There's at least one car in between me uh, empty, I mean space. So you have plenty of room to plenty move Plenty of room over. and merging the traffic is flowing, so okay. there's no issue there. Now what did you just do? Him, he's redirecting me. I don't know what he's telling me to do. He's starting to redirect me to go to the other way and stopping me at the same time. So so you started going into the lane and then you pulled back into the lane you're in. Why is that? Because he's redirecting me. Okay. I mean, I think a, a police guy is telling me move away or another way and I even put my blinker actually to okay. show that I'm moving so why, as you can see it on the video. Why do you think he's a police officer? What, what, what was he doing, wearing, or what was there that made you believe he was a police officer? Well, he's very clearly a motorcycle with flashing lights um, with the exact same uniform, the helmets, the uh, microphone, the badges, the t-shirts that the Orange County people or you know, motorcycle police pe uh, officers wear, the belts, the gun, everything. I mean, totally uh, exactly so, like a police uh, okay, motorcycle Okay, so let, let, let's just stop and, and piece it. So, the first And thing also to add, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. uh, being stopped in the middle of the road who would do stop the traffic and direct the traffic in front of you. Right. So when you came up to this scene right here, this intersection, you see the motorcycle with all the lights. Yes. Do you remember what color the lights were? Like the police cars, I mean, obviously. Okay. Yes. So uh, then you noticed the person who you think is a police officer standing in the street? Yes. Directing traffic? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> when you see that... Uh, you noticed that he's wearing a shirt with a badge. Was it a metal badge, or was it just a like a stencil badge, or was it a uh, like this one on my shirt's embroidered? Okay, was it like that? I, I don't remember. I tell you frankly, but from far we see a big badge. Okay, uh, and a very obvious badge. It could be a plaque. It could be a, from where I am. Obviously, did they did, he, did you notice if they had patches on their? They shoulders? had several things on the t-shirts. I think on the side of the shoulders, but. You know, he had the full look, I mean, of what... So it's something like, that makes you believe that they're a police officer. Yes, in addition then, to the sturdy motorcycle with the blinking lights, the pole light in the back or mm -hmm. something like this. Everything, basically. Okay, so they he also had uh, a gun belt on? He had a full belt uh, with all the, you know, munition things, the gun thing. I mean, what you normally wear I mean, as a police officer. What you normally see as a police officer. Yes. Okay.
All right, so now you said he's now redirected you back into the lane that you were in. Yes. Okay. Hey, stop your car. Okay, so what did he just tell you? Stop my car. Did you stop your car? I stopped my car. Okay, and just let it reflect that in the video you did come to complete stop. <clears throat> So, what did he just say? That I'm committing an assault, what I was absolutely st a sturdy pace. I mean, you can see between the car and motorcycle, there's no movement whatsoever. Okay, so we're looking right now at this particular spot in the video, uh, which is at 1 minute 39 seconds into the video. Uh, your car is completely stopped? Yes. The motorcycle that's on the kickstand is completely stopped? Completely stopped. So What's in the background? There's a Winter Park police car driving by. Going the opposite direction? On the other line, opposite direction. Okay. Did you notice that police car? No. First time I see this. So it's on the video. Today's the first time. When today's you, first time. Is this I the first time you've seen this video? This is the first day I see the video. Okay. So before today, you had not seen the video, correct? Never. Okay. So you, you were not aware that a, a uh, police officer had driven by? Never. Okay. Had you been aware and this is what is occurring, what would you have done maybe differently? I would will refer this knowledge to the Winter Park police officer okay. who was obviously a witness. Okay. Now, are you moving forward fast? No, I'm just, now the guy is banging my car and yelling at me. Um, I'm trying to see, I cannot go to the right anymore. It's open on the left. I'm trying to slowly go to the left. So what's directly next to your, your car right here? I'm blocked by the motorcycle. And what's on the other side over here? Cars, I think. Okay. So he's blocking your, your travel, your path? I'm cornered, but there is an opening to the left turn side. Uh, so line. you're just, as you're trying to get by his bike, you're trying, trying to get into to the turn lane? the bike and, and merge into the turning okay. lane. Why? Because that's my only opening. I'm super freaking out now. The guy's yelling, he's banging my car, he's cursing. I, mean, I don't know what's going on, and obviously he's not law enforcement at that point now. It's obvious to me. I don't know what this craziness this guy is doing. He, I don't understand why is he blocking my lane. I, the, I'm really what, scared now at that point. Did you notice or were you aware a funeral escort was going by? That there was a funeral procession going by you? Nothing showing as a funeral okay. procession. Okay. And we're, the cars over in the the lane closest to the curb were they spread out? Yes. I mean, as you can see at the beginning. We just car running through and with space so and just so on. Like so normal just part of my flow. Look like normal traffic. Normal too. traffic. So when he starts hitting on your car and you start moving forward, are you moving forward at a fast speed or are you just idling? No, I'm hardly moving the car. I mean, the why? Car, why are you hardly moving? Because I don't want to hit the guy. Obviously. Okay. <clears throat> so, tell me what happens next. He's banking full force and. Actually, there's something missing, I tell you there. He is going against my car. He's turning back again. When you say something's missing, what do you mean? There's a big part of this video that I perfectly remember not being there. And this is the part where he's hitting very, very car, very, very hard, the car. He's hitting uh, the side of your the car? The side of the car, the front, the side. He's banging and then he's turning two or three times. I'm not moving two or three times um, against the uh, side mirror that completely folded. Okay, so what we just saw was it looked like he was at the front of your car and then it looks like the video goes right to where he, it looks like he hits your mirror with his yes. hand. You're saying in between when he was at the front of your vehicle and when he hits the mirror with his hand, you're saying some of that video is missing? Definitely something missing, which is the part that was appalling to me because why was the guy go back and forth Real back and forth, full force against the uh, my car. Why would he want to do this? And he right. was obviously hitting the car, creating a situation. I did. That was shocking to me because why would you want to hit the car that strong? Okay. So right now he's making contact with you. You roll down your window. What did you ask him? See what you're doing. You cannot stop me. What you know? I'm I'm questioning the guy basically. And police. I'm calling the police. So what did he just say then? Stop your car? Are yes. you still moving? No, I'm completely stopped. Okay. What 
what is he doing right now? He's calling uh, his other... But what is he doing right here? And he's pursuing me for speed, basically. Okay, so if he was injured, would he be able to do that? No. He jumped on his motorcycle and followed me as quickly okay. as he could. <clears throat> you showed us a couple of pictures when we first got here. Uh, 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 several pictures. Two of them were uh, of what looks like Jeremy DeWitt, which is the brother to uh, this individual, Dylan, uh, half brother. You also showed us some pictures of the of the front of your car, like the hood area, and going down the side. Uh, when did you take those pictures? The same day. Okay, and it looks like there's a bunch of handprints up on the hood going up towards the windshield. Uh, were those were those caused by you or? No, this is absolutely Dylan. Um, reaching out almost to my um, the end of my hood. The, the hood is pretty long, and also more importantly, a very big indent into the front of the car. The car is new. I mean, he just pushed so strong with his belt and all his equipment that he actually managed to create an indent into the car, and hands all over the hood and the side of the car. Okay, so those hand prints that are way up on the center of the hood, close to the windshield. Could that be, because I didn't see that in the video. Is that the section of video that you're saying is missing? I'm sure of this. Okay, so that would make sense then. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do you have anything you want to add to this? Well, I'd like to give you the photograph of the other guy who cornered me as well and... When you say he cornered you, uh, how, did, how did he corner you? I arrived at the Fairbank intersection. The light was red, so mm -hmm. I waited. He came all the way, you know, on my side, and, and I was behind two cars, I think, two, I don't remember exactly the number of cars. So he blocked me on the left, and the other guy coming in the right, and started yelling. And so obviously, as soon as the light became green, I just turned, took the light, and followed the other cars, and went to my office. So there was a car in front of you, so you couldn't yes, go? I could not go. I was cornered, basically. Okay, So and you couldn't turn. So I think before you said that uh, when... when when the other motorcycle came, were they? It looks like in the picture you showed us, they're facing the opposite direction from you. Yes. So he he went counterflowing traffic. Counterflowing traffic, full blast to get to uh, you. to get to me and. Did he have a siren or anything going? I think lights. I don't. I don't recall a sound. Okay. You know, okay. but his voice for sure. I don't recall the cursing and yelling and when you say threats cursing, to me. He, he well. I Go will ahead repeat the motherfucker, I'm going to get you, and everything you can think of. Uh, nobody touches a law enforcement. You know, one of my officers, you have no right, and he went on like this. I'm going to press charges against you, and we're going to get you. I mean, all that type of thing. I mean, he went on and on and on. So if somebody was a police officer, would they be talking to you like, we're going to press charges and get you, or would he take action right then? Well, first, I would not have, I wouldn't have been talking to a police officer. I don't think one of police officer would fret me and, of, um, and curse on me. I never heard that. Never had one cursing on me, and especially that, and putting me frets like this. Right. So I just want to back up a little bit. When you stopped in front of Dylan, did you stop because you had impact with him, or did you stop because he told you to stop? He directly me to stop, so I stopped. Okay. I tried to understand what was going on, basically. Did you hear maybe, did maybe, did you hear you thumped him a little bit or? No. So no contact. The only no. contact with your vehicles is, is him? He created the contact. Okay. Constantly trying to come on, come on, come on to the hood. Okay. You know, uh, even directing the right when I was, he, he went, I mean, he followed my car basically. Okay. You know. Uh, and just to go back, so I'm going to need the picture of, that you took. Of, Absolutely. Uh, and I think we've already told you that's Jeremy DeWitt. Yes. So we, we need that picture as well because uh, obviously he came back and, and placed himself into this Yes. Into this, uh, and they will situation. show you the location and time because the Apple information is linked to the picture. Actually. I was glad that that happened. I could not take the video. I was too scared and that phone is not responding, but at least I managed the picture. So let me ask you, why didn't you call 911 right then? I tried to call my phone, is a voice activity, whatever, you know, so I tried to call many times, but I was really, you know, scared, obviously, I tell you, managing to try to avoid the guy, and I managed to call a number one, and it just reached my office, basically. And who did you talk to? The girl of my office, because it's a preset number, she said, hey, how are you doing, whatever, I said, I'm attacked, you know, and I, I talked to her, but I said, I need to hang up, I need to call the police, and then the other guy showed up. 
So then you didn't even have an opportunity because now they followed you and yes. stopped you again. So I tried to hit the video. I managed to hit, you know, to pictures. Much, to, to right. picture. That's all. So then when you left there, how long was it? By the time you got to your office, how long was it before Winter Park showed up? Oh, uh, maybe 30 minutes, an hour. I'm not sure. I'll tell you frankly, when I showed up in my office, my intent was to call the police. But unfortunately, my apartment was right there. So I was going to, and not too long after, my secretary came in and said, oh, the police is looking at your car. And, and I said, yeah, let me finish this. I need to talk to them, actually, because something happened. Okay. All right. Do you have anything else you want to add? No. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I just want to reiterate a couple of things. Um, in the video, and, and I'm referring to the uh, police report uh, taken by Winter Park, both confirm that the funeral procession is in what I call the right through travel lane or curb lane and that your vehicle was in the left through lane. Correct. Correct. And that as you were approaching you observed what you thought was an officer in your lane of travel. Yes. All right. And you you were not aware that that was a funeral procession going in the right lane of travel. No, nothing would show that. Okay. And when you saw that officer in your path of travel, you merged over into an open area of the right lane. Correct. To go around. Yes. Good. Okay. And then he jumped back over and started directing you to come back into his lane of travel. Yes, absolutely. And you merged back into his lane of travel. Yes, I put the signal and merged back in. Correct. And then you still at that point, you assumed or by his appearance, dress, his uniform, his badge, his lights, his motorcycle, everything, that he had the authority to direct you back and forth. At this point, yes. Yeah, okay. And at that time, you merged back over into the left through lane and you approach his location where he told you to stop multiple times. Yes. And you stopped. Yes. And it's, and at that time, he began striking your car. Striking and yelling. Putting you in fear. Yes. Okay. And because of the fear, you realize that a normal law enforcement officer doesn't act that way. Yes. It was not normal. Okay. It's not a normal law or officer behavior. And in addition to this, my front line was completely empty. It was absolutely no car whatsoever. I did not understand why would I be stopped and directed this way. And, okay. I'm trying to ask a question. Did he pull anybody else over or try to stop anybody else? I don't know. Uh, because I was the only one, basically, and the line was completely empty. Correct. And then, um, so you panicked uh, because he was attacking you in your vehicle. I got, I started to be really concerned, yes, okay. and scared. Yeah. All right. I have no further questions. All right. Do you have any? Do you have any? Want to take I don't. That? All right. So that'll uh, that'll end our interview today. The time is twelve twenty-four. So what I'm going to.